hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video is another Christmas video but Christmas is just a few hours away we're not doing DIY projects anymore hopefully all your decorating is done the gifts are under the tree it's time to chill out we're thinking about food today now if you're like me you're probably doing a really big Christmas dinner you might have even done a really big Christmas Eve dinner Christmas morning, you don't want to be doing a lot of extra cooking. You might have been up late putting toys together. You want to be in the living room with your kids enjoying the morning, but you still want something festive, special for Christmas morning. So I've got three different dishes for you, and here's the shtick. Each one is just three ingredients. Each one uses just one pot or pan so that there's not a lot of cleanup. Each one uh, you can make the night before and then the morning of Christmas you just heat it up. We're doing uh, some really lovely breakfast sandwiches. We're doing some little egg cups and we're doing this cake. Oh my goodness, look how delicious it is. This is really just three ingredients. So super simple, I'm gonna show you how. The first dish we're doing are these little egg cups, really cute. I'm using this muffin tin. I sprayed it with some cooking spray. And now I'm placing a uh, slice of ham into each little muffin cup here. Uh, I'm just gonna do six, but you could fill this tray up with as many slices of ham as you wanted, and you could do more than one tray. So you could really feed an army with this recipe. Uh, and there's not really any special trick to this. You can see I'm just laying it in concave pressing it in so that it makes a little cup and we're gonna fill this up with stuff and when we bake it in the oven the outside's gonna get crispy it's gonna act like a little shell holding all of the inner fillings together if that makes sense this is a really great recipe if you're doing Atkins or keto this is low carb full of good stuff so I'm just putting one egg into each egg cup really self-explanatory and this could be a make-ahead dish if you wanted you could fill these up cover it with tin foil put it in your fridge the night before Christmas and it's ready to go the next morning I'm gonna top each egg with some shredded cheese I'm using a nice sharp white cheddar you can use any kind of cheese you like I like the cheddar for this since it is a three ingredient recipe cheddar is a strong cheese it adds a lot of flavor we're not doing salt and pepper so you get that saltiness but use whatever cheese that your family likes Gruyere would be really great I picked this up because it was already shredded I'm trying to make this as easy as possible on myself um, and then you can go whole hog on this too you can use as much cheese as you like as little cheese as you like you know your family's preferences, so go for it. And this goes into the oven at 375 degrees. It's gonna take just about 15 minutes to cook through. You just want your egg nice and cooked. You want that ham heated through and a little crispy on the outside. Keep an eye on it, but it doesn't take long at all. For our second dish, I'm gonna make these little breakfast sandwiches. I'm using Hawaiian bread, but you can use any sort of rolls you like. I like that Hawaiian bread kind of sticks together, so these are gonna make sort of pull-apart sandwiches. So I put the bottom layer of the rolls, and then I'm placing just a slice of ham on each roll. Uh, you can see I'm not being very careful with it or taking my time at all. And then I'm likewise gonna sprinkle some cheese on top. Who doesn't like cheese on their breakfast sandwich? I've got, uh, this is like a pizza mix with mozzarella and Parmesan in it, but use whatever you like. Swiss would be really great for this. And once you're done, you put your top layer of rolls, wrap this up in some tin foil the night before Christmas, and then you just heat it up in the oven. And this final dish is probably my favorite. I'm using a bun pan and I'm pouring some maple syrup into the bottom. This is gonna be about a cup, three fourths a cup of syrup. Use what you like, but this is gonna be nice. It's gonna make like a drippy topping for the cinnamon roll cake that we are making. And to this maple syrup, I'm gonna put in some chopped pecans. This is about a cup, just eyeball it. Use what you like. If you don't like pecans, use whatever you like. Almonds, walnuts, or just use whatever you have. And then I'm gonna place, this is just a can of regular refrigerator cinnamon rolls. I'm peeling the rolls apart and I'm gonna just line the bundt cake pan with it. Um, going all the way around, this is gonna take about two rolls. Of cinnamon rolls so you could feed a lot of people with this it's gonna make a ton of food uh, and as it cooks in the oven it's gonna kind of puff up and expand and it's gonna turn into a sort of cake that you can pull apart really ooey and gooey uh, those pecans and the syrup that's gonna end up on the top of the cake it's gonna ooze all down it this is gonna look like you spent a lot of time on it but you absolutely didn't and like the previous recipes you can make this the night before cover it with tin foil and just cook it the morning and it's gonna make your your home is gonna smell amazing Christmas morning it's going to smell like Christmas with all that cinnamon the pecans the syrup 
really delicious. So just into a 375 degree oven for about 35 minutes, keep an eye on it. And here's the finished product, three different dishes, perfect for Christmas morning. You could make all three of these, make just one of them, make two, whatever you like. Uh, but as you saw, each one of these was easier than the next, but each one is super, super fun, festive, really special for Christmas. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit the red subscribe button to see more videos from me. I'll see you guys next time. Merry Christmas.